Hello and welcome to round 19 of the Liberty A-League season. The race for the Premiership is well and truly on. And this afternoon's contest between Sydney FC and Adelaide United will be pivotal for the Sky Blues as they try and chase down league leaders Western United. For Adelaide United, they this is their chance to be play spoilers after missing out on finals this season. And they'll be hoping to do so and they'll be also hoping to get their second win over Sydney FC the first time the club has ever beaten Sydney FC twice in a row as we see both teams walking out and a lot of pressure on Sydney FC they are after that minor premiership as we go through Sydney FC starting 11 Ante Juric make, is forced to make one change this afternoon as Indiana De Santos comes in to starting 11 after as Shea Holman is injured and Ante Juric's bench is also bolstered by the return of Madison Haley, Kirsty Fenton. Those two individuals will be absolutely important for Sydney FC if they are able to make the charge for that top spot. And for Adelaide United, Adrian Stenter makes two changes to his side that drew with Newcastle. Isabella Hodgson and Amelia Murray both come into the starting 11 and uh, Mindy Barbieri heads to the bench for this afternoon's game. And Ante Juric will be hoping his side will be at their best performance this afternoon after the Canberra United results got overturned and those three points, those three points went back to Canberra. They'll need to be fit and firing for all three of their remaining games. And Adrian Stenter, probably not the season he was after. Probably looking for to get back into the finals this season, but you can always try to improve and, and trying to build on some momentum so they can get themselves ready for the start of next season. But they can play the Royal Spoilers, which is always a lot of fun. Fiona Works will get us going for Adelaide United in Sydney, and we're underway here at Jubilee Stadium as Fiona Works is straight away swarmed by Mackenzie Hawksby. As uh, Adelaide United make their way forward, they've given possession straight back. And Nat Tobin, just a you know, physical contest there. Nat Tobin will be trying to keep her name out of the book, and she certainly on uh, yellow card watch because she's on three yellow cards at the moment. As Courtney Vine picks up the ball from that pass. And uh, news that Canberra United uh, got 1-0 up and Sydney FC they will definitely be getting word down to them. They certainly need to get that win now if Canberra United are able to hold on getting that a lead in the first minute of the game. Holmes. Bola. Balls absolutely swamped. You can see from Sydney FC already the intent to get forward. And Charlie Rule just let that pass roll too far off her foot. And Amelia Murray's opportunity to break forward. And she takes a shot and quite a bit of an acrobatic save from Jada Wyman. Tobin. Too much on that pass, but it's found Mackenzie Hawksby. He's able to flick on and release Courtney Vine, who's got heaps of space in front of her, and she play, tries to play it to Rachel Lowe. And Anna Lee Grove read it well and got off her line quickly. Such a vocal player from the goals, Jada Wyman. This is Sabini looking again to release Courtney Vine, who's got space as always. Plays it through to Hawksby and great bit of goalkeeping from Annalie Grove. She's very alert to that opportunity. That connection between Vine and Hawksby. Sydney FC, I want to get the lead as soon as possible and save the, their legs. Go a game midweek as Vine releases Hawksby. Just to make a U-turn. Hunter to Nat Tobin. He's made her way really far forward. And goes for a tenth. And Rachel Lowe's still on it. Rachel Lowe, and easy as you like for Rachel Lowe. We've got the first goal for Sydney FC. Came out of absolutely nothing. Adelaide United defence just stopped moving. And that's what Ante Juric would have wanted from his side to be alert in this game as they make their charge 
for that top spot. Great. I don't know if it was particularly fantastic, but just Rachel Lowe being alert to the game and a simple tap in. Now Tobin charging forward. Don't know if she's going for the shot. And Indiana Dos Santos, I don't know if she gets the assist for that, but if I was her, I'd probably be replaying that an assist in your first start. Rachel Lowe, easy as you like. Adelaide United found themselves in this position last week. They managed to get back to a two-all draw, but not, this is not the side you want to be down against as Princess Avrini is forced back to a defensive position. And that ball's fallen, and Jada Wyman again making a big save from the shot of Dylan Holmes. CNFC getting a little bit sloppy. Jada Wyman forced to make two saves already in this game. Miss Savini making her way back and just wasn't alert to the players around her. Played short. Miss Savini is able to deal with it and clear it out. It's fallen back to Sasaki, sends it in. Opportunity, that ball's fallen. To Fiona Wirtz and just too far in front of Katie Bowler. But uh, another warning sign for Sydney FC defence. Ball's played out wide to Wirtz. Tried to get her teammate involved and just too high and too far forward. Played into a dangerous area. Charlie's rules able to get ahead on it and Princess Abidi unable to get that deflection and make it 2-0. Hawksby again, he's playing it through the ground this time. It's just fallen out of the reach as Hunter takes a shot and Grove. Got two hands on that. Sydney FC. Different type of corner in this game. We haven't seen it. Sarah Hunter not afraid to take a shot. Lisa's Vine. Courtney Vine cuts in, but she's gone back out. Great bit of play from her. And Adelie Grove has needed to pull out a big save as that ball was deflected her way. That bit of fancy footwork from Courtney Vine cutting in and then back out. Emily Hodgson in spin cycle and lost and she's certainly been one of the most lively players to start this game. Hawksby was played deep. Crowding out of Lee Grove and Rachel Lowe going for that shot attempt. So many red shirts in the way. Vine bursting through. She's played that ball beautifully forward for herself. Courtney Vine and too much on that follow-up touch. And Natalie Grove and the Adelaide United defence got away. Green crosses it in, but she's certainly fouled in the process. And that ball is coming back. She's absolutely taken out by Amelia Murray, who gets a yellow card. Speed on the set piece once again. So middle of the pack and got Courtney Vine there, but the ball can't reach her. Charlie's rule tries to do some acrobatic work and unable to do so. And that attempt from Abini was never really going to threaten. And ball into Holmes. She's going for an attempt and she's just sliced across that. Couldn't get her foot wrapped around the ball. The fan group. Adelaide United make their way forward. Amelia Murray's got space. She takes a shot and Jada Wyman, her third save of the game. As always, she tips it over the bar. Saki. Grove. And 
straight to Tartha Vanna Green and her head has gone back to ladies in red. Matt Tobin with her red boots has uh, lost possession and Amelia Murray's got space up ahead of her. Got Dylan Holmes as, and Fiona Wirtz. Amelia Murray taking that effort and just getting the side netting. Always brave to be in the wall. Don't know if Sasaki's going to go for a shot attempt as we see her. She sets up her side and Jada Wyman's done well to knock it out of play. Good for Ante Juric's side to head into halftime with a 1-0 lead. Low lays it off for Hawksby. He's got Vine who's held her run beautifully. Courtney Vine and Anne Lee Grove has done really well to get out in a timely manner. Santos, Abini. And he's done well to split the two Adelaide United players. She releases her fellow winger, Courtney Vine, who's trying to find the run of Mackenzie Hawksby, and that ball's too far in front of her. Return to Abini. Hunter. Line to a beanie. Done well by Sasaki. And at half time here at Jubilee Stadium, Sydney FC go in. 1 0 leaders, and they're getting closer and closer to clinching the Premiership. Sydney FC 1, Adelaide United 0. Welcome back here at uh, Jubilee Stadium. And the rain has come after that halftime break in Sydney FC. Absolutely loving the game so far. 1-0 up, courtesy of a Rachel Lowe goal. And Adelaide United will definitely need to pick up their performance. They're going to get their second win against Sydney FC this season. And the fans are having to hide and the umbrellas are out. And Sydney FC... All things are going in their favour in their quest and hunt for their three-peat of minor premierships. They are obviously looking for the big trophy this season. They missed out in the last two seasons against Melbourne Victory. But Rachel Lowe, the goal scorer, getting her fourth goal of the season. Hunter. Low on the ball, goal scorer. Isabella Dos Santos has done well there to break away from those two red shirts. Vine crosses it across, and uh, Ali Grove forced to punch it away, and it's going to fall nicely for Abini. Just tried to lay it into the path of Low, and it's just a bit too short. Hunter, it's up. Green. Hawksby is that pass is uh, gone away from her. And now the rain will be different additional factor. The pace of Sydney FC, that ball will be quick off the ground. And if they are able to get their steps in order, and, uh, Princess Abini comes through the back of Amelia Murray, who is on a yellow card so, with her plate. As Hunter flicks it onto Vine. Who's able to get under control and into her path and she's got low sitting back and that ball's flicked on into the path of low and can't reach her. Hawksby back to low. He takes a shot and Annalie Grove is forced to make a save. So far this afternoon, only beaten once. Hawksby, good pass into low. He's taken it really well. Hawksby is uh sent it straight to Grove and it's still bubbling around. It's fallen for rule and it's gone over the crossbar. You can see how eager the Sydney FC team is and that ball's given away to Lowe in a dangerous position. She's managed to keep the balls found a beanie. Opportunity for a beanie who's just that ball's deflected by Anna Lee Grove. You wonder if a beanie took it first time. Would it be 2-0? But Grove did well, was alert to that opportunity. 
Angel Lowe set a beanie up nicely. That ball was curling to the bottom corner in this game. And as that ball's played through and a good flick on. Right, Walters is just too far wide of the goal. Murray tried to release words and uh, Tobin is always in the way. Jenna McCormick under pressure from Rachel Lowe. And she finds a keeper is able to clear it, but ball's bobbling around. Diana Dos Santos. Abini. That's a lay forward for herself and she's done really well. It's got Hawksby and she's released Hawksby. Mackenzie Hawksby in a big challenge from Jenna McCormick who read the play extremely well, got in early. United getting just a few moments there of consecutive attacks, but Sydney SC are able to clear it out. Abini and, uh, lost possession to Isabel Hodgson. Sasaki. Walters. Walters under pressure. Was able to clear it, but straight to the Sky Blues. Ends up opportunity for Dylan Holmes to release Amelia Murray, and Amelia Murray's got the ball. And Zana Green's done well to come from the other side. Hunter. It's a path of Vine, and it's fallen to Nat Tobin, who's done well. Still Nat Tobin. Dos Santos. She's done well in her first game starting. Nabini. Beanie's cut back inside. Abini's taking the shot, and Natalie Grove saw it the whole way through and able to make a comfortable save. Kenzie Hawksby to take this free kick. It's the path of Courtney Vine, who gets up for it, but bubbles around in this one. Indiana Dos Santos just knocked that deflection just above the crossbar. But wouldn't it be nice for her to get a goal this afternoon? Nat Tobin taking a shot and Nat Tobin makes it 2-0. That ball was bubbling around. And a really important captain's goal from Nat Tobin to make it 2-0. And that's exactly what Ante Juric would have wanted from his side at half time. You take a look at Mackenzie Hawksby's free kick and it was bubbling around and there was Nat Tobin. And she absolutely got it perfect. And Annalie Grove could do absolutely nothing about it. An excellent finish from a defender. Must be nice for Ante Urich to have the likes of Princess Abini, Courtney Vine and Madison Haley and Rachel Lowe. And Courtney Vine's managed to win the ball back. Courtney Vine, one on one with Annalie Grove. And Annalie Grove did really well. You'd expect Vine to finish that opportunity. Bowler. It was played out wide to Hodgson. She's trying to place the run of Amelia Murray and Deborah Ann Delahart did really well to get a boot out there and that follow-up effort from Bowler wasn't what Adelaide United would have requested. Wyman. A quiet second half. Jana Wyman hasn't had much to do. Nat Tobin. He's been a little bit busier. Scored a goal. Haley has flicked it on forward for Abini. Really smart bit of play from her. Abini. Pushes Abini still going. Cuts it across to Mackenzie Hawksby. And easy as you like. And that is the full stop that Sydney FC were after. And it's cool, calm and collected Mackenzie Hawksby, who has been absolutely working all afternoon. She gets a goal for all her effort. Uh, a beautiful flick on by Madison Haley to start the play and Princess Abini did well to find Hawksby who all oh, the red shirts had left standing on an island by herself. 
he did really well to just buy time and drew all the Adelaide shirts to her. A great bit of skill and play from Sydney FC. Hawksby. That ball's found. Courtney Vine has tried to flick it on and just wide of the goal. She's still searching for a goal. Actually, had they had that big win against Melbourne Victory, but this has been absolutely clinical performance and might clear the clean sheet as Mackenzie Hawksby is oh, on her way, but it did look like she had gone slightly early. Hawksby can't believe it. The 15th corner of the game. away by Tonkin. Hawksby to Fenton. Back to Hawksby. Abini's looking for it. Tobin. Haley. Left it for Hawksby out wide. Tonkin's come to face up. Gone across and Beanie unable to reach it and Charlie's rule is sliced through it. Holmes. Apples found its way to Hodgson, who's trying to cut it across, and there was nobody there. There's probably too much on that pass anyway. Lemon just knocked it forward. There's only red shirts, shirts able to get it. Lindsay Hawksby. Been so good going forward this afternoon defensively as she knocks the ball straight into Misha Westland. She's played forward. It's a race between Tonkin and Lemon. And it's full time here at Jubilee Stadium. And for Sydney FC, this weekend could not have gone any better. Taking out being 3 0 victors over Adelaide United. And they put themselves in a great position to win the minor premiership if they're able to beat Perth Glory in the middle of the week. Sydney FC, three. Adelaide United, nil.